I must admit, you've surprised me. I thought you were going to take off as soon as you'd gotten something from us. But I was wrong. I want you for a little soiree I'm planning. Of course. I will admit what I'm proposing involves a little more cloak and dagger than the usual business meeting. But we both know that's how the game plays sometimes. It's about an artifact, and our goal is simple. We're going to purchase it. Our seller is a freelance operative in the city of Neon, which means the artifact is almost certainly stolen from someone. I just need a little more presence in the negotiation to show we're serious. And I think you'd be perfect. Oh, exceedingly. The free market there is in full effect. Anything goes as long as you have the money. We'll be taking advantage of that. That settles it, then. We just need to make a few stops when we get to the city, and then the drinks will be on me. Drinks are on you? Hmm. Now I'm certain there's something wrong with you, Walter. It'll be easy, I promise. I'll ride passenger on your ship until we get to Neon. Just let me know when you're ready to set off. To the Volai star system, then. I admit I'm a little excited. Where to next? Welcome to Free Star Space. We're gonna do a quick scan for contraband. Can be on your way. And that's it. Enjoy Neon. See that shroud covering me on? Believe it or not, you're looking at the only city in the settled systems that powers itself from lightning. Ah, smell that? Construction, incense, industrial chemicals of every kind. But they still can't get rid of the odor of chasm bass. We need to stop by the Stroud Ekblen offices. There are certain authorization procedures when large funds are being transferred, even for something like this. some sort of checkpoint ahead. It's probably designed. See that shroud covering me on? Believe it or not, you're looking at the only city in the settled systems that powers itself from lightning. Oh. Cut the act. The snippers picked up the aurora you're carrying the second you step foot. All right, get up slowly and turn around. Try to run and we open fire.
with all signs pointing to the Astral Lounge. Hey there. Got the shakes, huh? Not well at all. Don't worry. Perhaps you better sit down. Is that obvious? Oh my goodness. Another poor soul. All right. Tell me what happened to you. Is it an Aurora overdose? Something else, perhaps? Oh, well, you're certainly welcome to take a look, but I'm afraid we're dangerously low on supplies. Who cares if you're addicted to the stuff? I can assure you it isn't by choice. You see, I'm a bit at odds with the current administrator of Neon. His drug is turning the streets into a graveyard, and he doesn't seem to care. We've argued about it on more than one occasion, and all he's done is try to persuade me to quit. Thinning out my supply chain is his newest tactic. Then you understand what I'm up against. At this point, I've resorted to asking anyone that has a ship registered outside of the Voli system to bring me medical supplies. I pay them for the supplies, of course, but it's the only way I can sneak them past Bayou's people at the spaceport. Now, if there's anything else I can do for you, anything at all, you just let me know. I'm sure we can get you fixed up with something. Try not to get hurt out there. Benjamin Bayou's ego was as combustible as Helium-3, he'd be able to provide enough fuel to power every ship in the settled systems. I've heard that Benjamin Bayou has a private penthouse at the top of the tower. Hmm, the view from up there must be breathtaking. Stroud Eklund makes some of the finest ships in the settled systems. I'd love to get a look at their operations. It's all right. I just need to have a short chat with my counterpart. Is she in today? Yes. Uh, allow me to bust you in, sir. Walter. Issa. Shall we continue from last time? The luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it? Is a mistake. No, I'm here about. Wait a minute, a mistake. Our ship designers are the best in the settled systems. They design personal craft and military ships, Walter. Large scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am arguing with my partner, <laughs> and you're just standing right here. Issa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's branding. Co-CEO, heir to the Eklund fortune, and somewhere down there I'm his wife, yes. Didn't know our marriage was such a low priority. Oh, it jumps up the list at the right moments. Ah, yes, the daring explorers my partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> you should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need to go into that. <laughs> Oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such passion. If he talked to the board that way, I wouldn't need to placate them so much. Who was it again, Walter? The founder of Constellation? 
Sebastian Banks, his final address before he disappeared. Second it? Believe me, I've heard it plenty of times from him already. I am not going to be forced into embarrassment in my own office. The answer is no. Talk to him about it later. Once he cools down, he'll be all ears. I know. It's my favorite hobby. Now why are you here, my dear? The board meeting isn't for a while, and our vacations aren't coming up either. It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Ugh. This wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astro Lounge, would it? I never said that. Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Only after you had one hack into mine. Tell me, can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? Oh, just some light sparring, dear. Walter's actually very... attentive. When it's just the two of us. When you mix business and family, you learn to compartmentalize. A remarkably insecure location for a clandestine meeting. That was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage. Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar. What's motivating them? Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for security flaws. Give you the advantage if things go wrong. Bribe a few bouncers, alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. I hate being selfish, but I would like some time with my husband. We need to go through the fund authorizations anyway. James Newell is the broker who knows our seller. He'll be able to help you find out more about them. And it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Here, let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining you. Meet me back here. I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks, I promise. Certainly provides evidence that Ryujin's influence has spread from their tower and out into the city. Welcome to Newell's. If you're looking for any specific goods, Rosa and I guarantee we'll beat Sieghart's lousy selection every time. Rosa Newell is my wife. We own this place together. Sieghart's Outfitters? Oh, come on. You don't have to pretend you haven't been to his poor excuse for a store off of Bayou Plaza. Oh, I don't have a problem with this place. My problem is Sieghart himself. That man has absolutely no respect for the business community on Neon. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Worst of all, he pays off Neon security to keep his place safe. A lot of the merchants in Neon belong to a small merchant's alliance. It's nothing formal. 
It's just a bunch of us getting together to air our grievances and watch each other's backs. By standing up to the lowlifes who come in here expecting me to just hand over all of my money, I refuse to be run out of business or be forced to pay protection. Yeah, sure, if all you care about is yourself. Every payment Seagirt makes validates Neon Security's corruption. He's setting a bad precedent that many merchants are forced to follow. Anyway, sorry. I know I can get a little intense about these things. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around, I'm sure you'll find something you might want to buy. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Information isn't usually free. Easy, friend. Not looking for trouble. I guess maybe I can add this to his tab. Okay. I don't know much. But I did have one of my freelancers tail the seller back to his place. Sleep crate one. Let me write down the unit for you. I had to chase more zone heads out of here today. I don't think they even knew what planet they were. They're just kids having fun. You could possibly want. What is
They're a lot, right? Have you tried one of our advanced teller machines? Galbank ATMs are spread throughout the settled systems, so you can do your banking your own. Your safety is almost guaranteed. So go out, have your fun, be a unique, original. I'm not going to say this twice. Aren't you? Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. Oh, no, 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 no. Drugs are for street gangs and junkies. Aurora is on an entirely different level. I like to call it an exquisitely crafted transcendent experience. <laughs> Only problem is that won't fit on the package. Here, take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie, the Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it, can you really put a price on pleasure? The Astral Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is hand-picked from the finest officers in the city. I'm afraid that would be a serious fire hazard. And I think it's only fair to warn you that the network security on our doors is state-of-the-art. Private meetings are usually held in the floor above, just to use the elevators. Then I would say you'd be interested in the Astral Lounge VIP package. For a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. We do strive for setting the most reasonable rate. I'm sorry, but promises make for poor currency. I'm sorry, but our policies demand even high-profile customers pay our fees. Hmm. 
bullets flying would certainly be bad for the club's reputation. Well, I think we can certainly offer a discounted rate for you, if you were still interested. Excellent. Let me just apply that discount we discussed, and done. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. Oh, ben and I are good friends. <laughs> he personally gave me the job here at the Astral Lounge. Oh, he's a good man. Cares a lot about the citizens of Neon. Making sure they're all employed and well taken care of. A real humanitarian. Pretty amazing, isn't it? That's Borealis, only 19 years old, and yet she produces some of the most heart-pounding, trippiest electronic music you've ever heard. I don't know where she gets her inspiration, but I'm betting all that free Aurora she gets has something to do with it. Hope to see you again. You don't need to wear your helmet on this planet. You know that, right? Make sure you check every entry. There might be some embedded data we could use to our advantage. Normally, once we're alone, your shoulders relax. They're... taut. We're on to something remarkable. Maybe what I've always dreamed of. 
I can tell. I can see your mind racing. I haven't even stopped to ask you how you are doing. I'm fine. The board complains, I assure them. There's the occasional assassination attempt. So, you don't need anything from me then? I don't. Am I just some useless stargazer? You would have been better off marrying a hope or a tie or someone who could be with you at every meeting. Oh, don't go on about that again. Needing you isn't the same as wanting you. And I'd much rather want my partner than need them. Less complicated. Now, I know Constellation seems to take up so much of my time. But I never stop thinking of you. Wondering what maneuvering you're doing to take over the company and drive me out. It's how I show my love. Is everything ready? Good. Let's be on our way then. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. Just in case. Good luck, all of you. Catherine Luzion keeps demanding we look into her husband's murder. All right, we're here. Now, I don't know what the cellar looks like, but they'll have a security briefcase with them, larger than normal, big enough to hold the artifact. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Travers. It's not like people who trade in stolen goods are eager to share personally identifying information. Are they? Hm. Code phrases? Goodness, Walter, I think you're taking this espionage business a little too seriously. Remember, Ramsey and Travers. We'll meet back near the elevator. Can't you see I'm busy drinking? It's worth exactly zero credits, same as my career, so don't get any ideas. Oh really? 
I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In one of those fancy VIP lounges? Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. I just saw Arcella walk by. Good job. Now before we head in there, let me go over the ground rules. He'll ask for twice what we agreed on. That's normal. He'll probably try to walk out. That's normal, too. Don't worry about the amount we actually settle on. The Stroud Eklund Discretionary Fund is just a chip to you and me. Our goal is to get him to accept that ship in exchange for the artifact. Anything goes as long as it's in our hands, and we're not dead. How does that sound? And this'll be fun. I find matching wits with the Neon Underworld to always be invigorating. There's shortages over at Reliant Medical. Not great. Doc Manning better get his act together before the place shuts down. So you, Stroud, you look different in person. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting, making me nervous. So polite. Almost makes me forget what planet I'm on. Am I to assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah, here it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind. And I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Now how am I supposed to do that? I don't know, but your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? Oh really? And how do you know that? Who talked? Does it matter? We know you're in a fix, and we're still willing to buy. For the agreed-upon amount. I got people after me, okay? I can't just set on what we agreed on. I need more so I can disappear. That's not our problem. We came here expecting one amount. Now you want another. You telling me Walter Stroud ain't got the cash? I'll walk out of this booth right now. I leave now. I can get a jump start on the people after me, instead of you all wasting my time. You'd be on your way already if you just take the money I'm offering you and shut up. What's it going to be? Take or walk? I... Ah. Uh... All right. You win. Hand over the money. This... thing... is all yours. Well done. Some high pressure tactics, but we got what we were after. Time to go home, shall we? Stop right there. You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Ah. Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon. Am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property. Now. There a problem here? Yes. This armed thug was trying to steal our belongings. I'm going to need you to back away from our VIPs. Now. Fine, but you can't stay in the Astral Lounge forever, Stroud. Nicholas Slayton's already got your number. 
Sending armed men into the Astral Lounge. Slayton must be serious about getting the artifact back. We'd better get off the planet quickly. gone wrong, hasn't it? Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He's greased a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. There goes our way out. The CEO of Slayton Aerospace. They're a systems manufacturer. Engines, thrusters... The same way everything works on Neon. Money. It's terrible at keeping secrets. Agreed. Have a talk with the man himself. Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby, shall we? See if we can make an appointment. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? Slayton Aerospace is the premier component supplier for a variety of Starship needs. But if you were supposed to be here, you would know that already. I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is a very busy man. I'm sure you do. We weren't expecting a VIP to come through today. Let me just run a few checks. Arguments with Mr. Slayton tend to go long. I'm not sure we can fit you in. I'm afraid we just can't book any more appointments today. Goodbye. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. I'm afraid we aren't taking appointments right now. Hoping to get a meeting? I've been waiting all day. Ridiculous. You have a question? You can chat with the receptionist all you want. Wait. This clearly isn't the executive level. He's on to us. Walter! Taking what's mine, then breaking into my office. A bold move, but one easily counted. Oh, we're trapped. Hello, Walter, dear, are you there? Yes, sir. Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right, we've got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? For the moment, Slayton will be scrambling his own security teams once he gets wind that we're no longer at his mercy. Our time is limited. I'm aware of the irony of me continuing to say it'll be easy. But it'll be easy. are all over. Be careful. Okay. You'll want to use the vent system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cover just to the right of the elevator you came in on.
That's the elevator you came in on. Jump right across the top of it and keep going to the end. Drop down and follow the conduit all the way to the end, past the fork. There's a vent above you. Just climb up. Another robot up ahead. Wait for it to pass, then head straight across to the maintenance door next to the security gate. Go now! Let me just get that for you. Security is on full alert. No point slipping through unnoticed now. You have to fight your way to the exit.
the trade tower? There's a series of catwalks that lead directly up one floor to the executive level. This is a private office?
Frank Rennix all in a twist because his robot got vandalized. We had a good laugh about the bag of the <laughs> Expecting me to jump down after you. You're coming in just behind the executive elevators. I'll call the one on the far end, and you can walk right over the top. You know, it's moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> Aren't you? In the back of your mind, through the tunnel vision of adrenaline, there's a part of you that belongs here. It happens to all of us. Ah, it seems you have chosen more violence. Very well. There he is.
Traveling with a criminal.
security's got its eyes on Saburo Okadipo. The guy's trouble. Time, but I need to talk with you later. Ready for takeoff in three, 